What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius, back at it again with Classroom of the Elite. Today is Monday, the day episode 8 comes out, but I'm doing 7 and 8 for you guys because I missed 7 last week because I was, you know, so about that. But we're catching up today, so I'm very excited to be back caught up with Classroom of the Elite. Episode 7 is kind of a bar, I just read the title. It is called, To Doubt Everything or To Believe Everything are two equally convenient solutions. Both dispense with a necessity of reflection. Both of them are just equally as easy, no challenging, no being in the middle, no skepticism of either side. They're both equally as easy being on both ends of the spectrum, but both you have to get rid of self-reflection, world reflection, reflection in general. It's like you really can't, you know what I'm saying? That's a bar. I could go in depth about that. The next one is called The Wound is at Her Heart. Very curious where this is going to go. We ended off the sports festival. Ryuen just got kind of smacked, so I'm very excited to see who he thinks is pulling the strings how he's going to get to the bottom of this. Is Kushida going to keep her mask off? How is she going to roll? Very curious, very excited. Don't forget, if you guys want early access and full length to this show on all the other shows I'm watching, um, check out that Patreon. All that's available in the links down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right on into this. Classroom of the Elite, Season 2, Episodes 7 and 8. Let's do it. Manabu is resigning. Now, why is this? And who's going to be the next class prez? Who is this guy? Miyabi Nagumo. Katsuragi. Coming to give some praise. Is the enemy of my enemy my friend? Or is the enemy of my enemy my enemy? And she well knows to stay away from Ryuin. Whoa. Yano Koji got a secret admirer or something? I'd be down. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> it, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Did he earn that much favor from some of the girls during the sports festival, or how is this becoming a thing? Okay, that's acceptable. <laughs> My man Ayano Koji is being gamed on. Hell yeah. My man put on a show. Okay, she's nah. We don't we don't mess with girls like this, but. Shouts out to all you guys that told me that he would have won the race had it not been for the guy who fell in front of him with his race with Manabu. But we got K looking over. Uh, I don't know. This is interesting. All right, Ko oh my god. Why is Koenji so smart? Yusuke, Horikita, Kikyo. Yep, 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 yep. Where is Ayano Koji? 65. Being typical center of the pack. Like, like normal, you know. Oh, okay, Sudo. For him, yes. <laughs> Don't just respond to Horikita like that. This is the first time it's happened? Let's go, squad. Come on. Hell yeah. Yeah, we deserve like a pizza party or something, Shabashira, don't you think? Oh, never mind. We're not done. Oh god, what is it going to be? Which will serve as your finals. It's known as Paper Shuffle. The hell could that mean? In the class, participating in teams of two. Okay, paired up. So we have a mini test, and then we announce the pairing of the bigger test. So you rely on your pair. Okay. I see. Awesome. Really? This is going to take not only individual with your pair, but also as a classroom collab. Like, this is going to be crazy. <laughs> Koenji's like, give me that question. We'll see if they can be answered. Bro, I got to give it to this show. Like, the, the in-depthness. There are so many shows I've seen where it's just like a test can be something where it's like, we're going to test your strength capability. First, we want to do 100 push-ups or something so basic. This is so detailed. 
like you know it's detailed when the one where they had the Among Us style quiz where they were named after planets in the solar system. I had to rewatch during editing like three times just to get the instructions down pat. You know, like these are in depth. Like <laughs> I really enjoy these, and they're so they vary so much from the island to the sports festival to this to the Among Us. Like, I genuinely think if I was in this class, I might be elite coming out of this. Ooh, see a pair or two expelled every year? The paper shuffle? It's been a minute since we've had a strategy meeting at uh, Ayano Koji's apartment, or his dorm. Got a question for you. What would that be? <laughs> He's over here treating it like it's intel. I know, she's treating it like she's a girl in school. She's treating it like it's a normal student activity, you know? He's over here like, who gave you that critical piece of vital information? And she was, he could tell! What the fuck? Fair enough. Fair rebuttal. I was assuming you're gonna have a little secret convo with my boy. Ooh. Ooh. Give us some story. Yes. Yes. Ooh. As has the commercial cut of her like shadowy form going into her. What the hell? What the hell? Like a... That it was Kushida? Oh, hell nah. Hell, with that smile on her? Hell nah. Like, right now, she is the evil incarnate, you know? What would that be, Yanokoji? It would be something philosophical. You'd, you'd suppose violence. I'd be down. I can agree with that. Yeah, but you think you have some sort of talk no jutsu that... More power to you, girl. I respect it. She's been this way since middle school. Uh, no change in her now in my eyes, but hey. If you're that determined, I'll be like him. I'll watch from afar. <laughs> he did make backup plans, assuming he would fail. But I won't argue given how things turned out. That's so funny. You'd be fucked. You're welcome. That was a genuine thank you. I appreciate it, and I've grown to like Horikita a lot over the these last two seasons, you know? Oh, we're seeing class C. Oh, why is why is there no lights on in here? Why is it so dark? That's the thing. He's saying it in a way when you, which you're like, okay, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna admit it, and then he's not gonna give you mercy. He's gonna beat your ass. Wait, Manabe was the one beating Kay's ass. <laughs> Bro, Riwen is a fuckwit, but he's intimidating. I won't lie. So they don't know specifically it's Yano Koji, but one of those two who saw them do that is blackmailing them. Yano Koji. That's that dude who was in the background that couple of times. Who is this dude? Right? He's always right next to her. I won't lie, it's a nice looking cafe. Damn, I don't know what that is on the level. It's like a parfait. It looks delicious. I wonder if that's actually going to happen this year, or if it's going to be another, like, unique year, you know? That's what I would assume. The dumb kids are with the smart kids, because all you need is a 60 between both of them. 
ルの平均が前提は同じくらいになるように組まされるということよ連絡は最低限にしろと言ったはずだが immediately disappointed これくらい私が聞きたいのは佐藤さんへの返事よ返事がどうだろうとお前には関係ないだろう Cause she likes you 関係じゃないわよアンスだと思ってエッチなこととか考えてんじゃないの I can personally tell you, Kay that is the furthest thing on my man's mind it's a tremendous leap in logic <sighs> She's not wrong there. She didn't say that. Purely platonic. Bro, if she's kicking her legs on the phone with a Yano Koji like that, she has the biggest crush ever. I swear. How inexplicably condescending of you. Gotta check up on the girl, make sure she's all good, you know? She loves that. Yeah, she... She wants it to be more than just an agreement, just a business exchange, but... She likes my boy. Don't quote me on that. Like, this show could definitely throw some twists in the, in the mix, but... As of right now, she likes my boy. Oh, to be a, a, a high school boy again, you know. Days were so simple like this, even though this is 10 times more complicated than my high school. <laughs> so is this the mini test we're taking right now? Maybe it's going to be everything backwards, nothing what we thought. What is it going to be? Oh, who's getting paired up? Okay, yep, Horikita Sudo, um, Yukimura, with a guy I don't know, Koenji, and somebody else I don't know, Hirata, and Yamauchi, Kushida, and Ike. Okay, okay. Ayano Koji and Sato. Damn, damn, damn. K is pissed. <laughs> Incredibly in the worst way possible. Damn. All right, on to episode eight. This one is called The Wound. Is that her heart? We're starting off with the Kushida event. What's everyone so mad at me for? It's not my fault. They're the ones with the problems. It does look like her hair. Nah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I hate this girl. <laughs> Don't just wave at me like that, Sato. Miyaki and Hasabe. <laughs> Do not look over at me when you're saying that, Horikita. If only we had someone else. Alright, Yukimura, smart dude. Yeah. See, I would get smoked in the sports. I haven't fucking exercised nearly as much as I should have since high school. True. Yeah, you need to have jack of all trades. Social, academics, physical. I like it. I like it. Sakura. Oh, with Sakura watching over us. I haven't seen her what feels like 10 seasons, man. I miss her so much. <laughs> hey, as someone who's watching another show with someone invisible, don't hate on the invisible guys. Kuroko's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, stop, stop playing coy. Come on, like, start showing us your true potential. That is true. They are going to be scrutinizing them. They said that. That's a good point. We can start to have not such a gray area. 
by us submitting a crazy ass one and then a recent or a decent ass one like what are we doing that seem on the dicey side yeah yeah did she kill anyone say anyone raped her anything like that okay it's all we're making sure what would that be I'm liking this walking scene with the sunset and the trees in the, in the background, you know? Is this gonna be, it's either gonna be Sato or Kay. No one else it could be, pretty much. Oh. 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 Never mind. He's trying to get to the bottom of it. And he has two leads right now, Ayano Koji or Yukimura. And right now he's just going down from because he said to the mastermind so this is to the number that sent him the recording a couple episodes ago he's just saying who are you i was about to say are they on a date but i forgot they're paired up for the test <laughs> he is so dense when it comes to women you know okay not with us at all and technically this is your issue your situation so i respect it but you actually doing it without involving yano koji at all is quite commendable i can't stand this girl this is so funny a bet hmm? yeah what kind of bet are we talking about Ooh. then she'll leave she'll resign from the school this is gonna be something that no more pettiness pure your skill versus my skill you know Manabu? And if it comes to putting her expulsion on the line, um, Manabu's gonna be down. He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, let's, let's do this. In terms of being fair and just, I, I can see that. You know? He's like, if she loses a mon... Uh, uh, if she loses upon her own free will... Then she deserves to get expelled. So Manabu is down. Manabu is actually a great witness for all this. Okay, this is it. Damn. <laughs> okay, shout out Kushida for for knowing some. What would that be? I think Ayano Koji is going to be the one to accept it because he has that much faith in Horikita. Hells, yeah. He's, he's the kind of guy like that. What would this be, good sir? Oh. It doesn't matter because we're going to be expelled anyway, right? so she's an attention whore i mean a lot of people are like that you know that's not that crazy desire for recognition yeah what do you mean by that the spotlight would always move over you only got your 15 minutes of fame The nicest and the friendliest. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we have this picture of her just being depressed this whole time. The ecstasy of being needed, of being trusted. Oh my lord. Yeah. Why the fuck do we have this sound when she's brushing her teeth? Jesus.
This is what she means by enduring. Just push through no matter what, no matter how hard, rough, tiring. The only outlet you... She has a blog. Okay. Damn. So what what is the, what is your weapon? Oh, she just exposed all the secrets. This is what Horikita meant when she said the classroom just was in turmoil till graduation. Everyone just hated everyone because everyone got exposed. A powerful but double-edged sword. The truth often hurts. Damn. Which is well, like what? <laughs> now she just keeps it all close to the chest. Now, in order to let it out every once in a while, she has to do that because she can't do it online anymore, so. Yeah, you're kind of deranged. Trust me. We know, but I have that much faith in my girl Horikita, so fingers crossed. Kushida is fucking Jesus. That was deranged. All right, so we're starting the new test, the paper shuffle. I am excited to see how these test scores go. I think I'm more excited about the Kushida and Horikita event than I am about the actual test itself. But I'm also there's a couple of mini storylines I'm excited about. Excuse me. I'm excited about that one, Kushida and Horikita. I'm very excited about the Ryuen and how that ties to Ayano Koji. And I'm also excited about Kei, Sato, and uh, Ayano Koji. Because I want to know who is going to get with him. Is he even, like, he is totally like a main character of a show that I could totally see not getting with any of the girls. He might, he could use everyone as tools, have the whole class hate him by the end of the show and win. I have, that's one thing. Can you guys answer this for me right now? Are the light novels for this still coming out? If so, are they nearing an end? Do we have an end in sight? Do we know what the end is going to be? I'm only saying that from like a setting and contextual standpoint. Like for One Piece, I can say as an example, the end is finding the One Piece, becoming the Pirate King. I can say that from episode one. But is the end of this show graduating Classroom of the Elite? Is it just making it to Class 1A? Is it making it to Class 3A? Are we going to have a time skip? Like, what is our end goal for this show? Can you guys answer that for me? Non-spoilery, please. I would really appreciate that. Also, like I said, thoroughly enjoying these episodes. I was fucking... Oh, Kushida is crazy. But I get it, you know? There's a lot of very individual personality in this that's very realistic some of it's a little extreme on the extreme side but it's not as if there aren't extreme people of those personalities in the real life like there are people i can name right now who fucking orgasm off being praised like kushida so i get that completely there are people like k who are more like she called it himself like a parasite a leech i get that like obviously i wouldn't consider them parasites leeches but there are people who in real life who are like this sato who won't notice you unless you do anything something cool and then she's all over you there are people i can name you like that you know it's crazy so i'm really enjoying the personalities and how individual they are everyone has flaws everyone has bonus like pros and cons like it's really interesting thoroughly enjoying it so far hopefully you guys are as well i'm excited for oh, i gotta wait a whole nother week now damn I forgot today's the day. Damn it. A whole nother week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. All that jazz. So you guys know when I post. We're going to drink some water. I promise this is water. It's just like a little crystal light in it. Um, tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.